What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage. And today I am excited because we are going to pick up another car. So we got the F450, we got the trailer, and we are going on a little road trip to pick up this car. So let's go. Hey guys so we are about five minutes away from this place to pick up the car and i am super excited about it um i want to get this car this car does have some sentimental value to me i will tell you guys later on why it has some sentimental value but i am super excited super stoked to be picking up this car uh, I also want to let everybody know that we are soon going to be having some merch on the shop. Yes, so we were just able to open up a YouTube shop and we are going to be having merch. There are some stickers on there now that you are able to purchase, but we will soon have merch on there. As you guys can see, the new hat. I want to give a big shout out to Natalie from CW Threads. She was able to pull this off, make the hat happen, and she did an awesome, awesome job with it. I am super, super excited. I also want to give a big shout out to my girlfriend, Michelle. Not my girlfriend, but she's my best friend's girl, uh, wife. She ended up hooking us up, getting us together. To be able to make this ha happen and i am super super excited about that so like i said we are about five minutes away i'm going to uh put the phone down now keep driving and i will see you guys when we get there All right, you guys, so we are here. I see the car and I am totally, totally excited. Let's go check out the car. And there it is, you guys, in all its glory. Look at that. 
as you guys can see there's still a couple things that might have to get done to it but yo look at this car you guys <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm going to line up the truck with the front of the car so we can load it up, get it out of here. I talked to the owner. He didn't, the previous owner, he didn't want to get involved with the video, so that's fine. I uh, didn't put him in the video at all. I didn't put his name of the company or anything where he works. He didn't want to be in the video, which is fine. So I am going to do my due diligence and not add him to the video, but we are going to get the car loaded up on the trailer strap it down, take it home, and we're gonna go check it out. So let's go load this bad boy up. Alright you guys, she's loaded up, we're going to strap it down and we're going to head out. Alright you guys, let's hit the road. Like I said earlier, that car to me has some sentimental value, uh, mainly because my godfather who passed away used to have a Toyota Supra in yellow. His was completely all modified. I'll find a picture. I'll put it right here. So his car... Um, was a yellow Toyota Supra. And when I found this one, I said, look, I have to get it. So we ended up getting it. We're almost home. 
and we're going to uh, unload this thing and take a better look at the car. Alright you guys, and here it is, the Tamiya Toyota Supra. This is the BT-01 chassis, and I am super excited about this car. Uh, there are some issues with the chassis, the BT-01 chassis, that there's a couple of people that have already mentioned it, that there's an issue, and I was outside playing with it today after doing that whole skit with the video. And I see exactly what they are talking about. There are a couple things that are not right with this thing. Um, one of the biggest issues that I see that this thing has, which a lot of people have mentioned, is the slop. This thing is sloppy, you guys. Like, that's, 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 that's sloppy. The rear here, when you go to accelerate, I mean, that is just... Every time I accelerate forward, this thing just kicks over forward like that. It, it, it's 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 bad. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it is bad. Um, hopefully these things do get addressed when a company comes out with I don't know metal parts for it, aluminum parts for it. Uh, hopefully those parts will be addressed, and um, hopefully won't have an issue like that. But I can definitely say that I can definitely say that the sloppiness on this thing is is kind of bad. So let's open up the well, let's open up the hood. <laughs> let's take the body off and check out the chassis here. All right, you guys. So as you guys can see here, this is the main the chassis of it, and as you guys can see, I have a front. Um, I got a front motor, rear wheel drive, and one of the things I can definitely say about this is how bouncy you guys can see just how bouncy this thing is. The shocks on this thing are horrible, absolutely horrible on this. They are way too soft, as you guys can see. These things are just way too soft. Um, they're just Tamiya shocks. You do have two ways to mount the battery. You have the one way you have up here, and then another the one, there's a slot right in here that you're able to hook up a battery also with like a shorty pack or something. But I decided 
on this tray here to put the ESC and the, the, the receiver on here. Uh, the servo, I'm just basically using just a cheapy little servo that I had laying around. The steering is not all that fast on here, but guys, you, you guys can see how, I mean, it's just bad. It is, this is just bad, you guys. I, I'm really hoping that there's a company out there that is going to be coming out with metal upgrades for this thing to end up stiffening this up because these things are just bad. Um, there are ways that you can modify this thing to be able to lose all of this slot and end up stiffening stuff up. Um, I'm going to be looking at a couple things to do and we'll make another video of that. But this is the thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you can probably run this as a four-wheel drive. So there's the drive shaft that you take out of here when you go to make a rear-wheel drive. I think if you end up putting that drive shaft back into that area right there and put a diff in the front, two axles, two dog bones here, I'm pretty sure that this thing will be able to be made four-wheel drive. So don't count me on that, but I think there is a way to make it all wheel drive. I mean, the chassis is not bad, but when you guys see it, when you guys saw it driving down the road, this thing was just bouncing and literally just, it was like freaking out, man. <laughs> it was just absolutely freaking out. But one of the things I can say about building this chassis is you have to follow the instructions to a T. Uh, there are some things on there that are going to be a little bit confusing because I know I got confused about. Basically, the main book that comes with this. So when you open up your chassis, you get this book right here. This booklet right here basically tells you how to install it in a front wheel drive uh, schematic. So. Basically, this manual is telling you how to install it as a front wheel drive car. Oh, I'm sorry. As a mid-engine, no, because when I did it, I did it was it came out as a front wheel drive. So this one right here basically tells you how to do it as a mid-engine rear wheel drive. But when I did it, somehow, some way, it kind of ended up being a front engine front wheel drive. So I ended up changing it out with another one of the books that comes with it, which is this one here. Well, not this one, because this one's telling you mid-engine rear wheel drive. As you guys can see there, mid-engine rear wheel drive. So the other one is definitely a front wheel drive. That's, that's what that is. It was basically telling me how to install it, do it, put it together as a front wheel drive car. And that's what I ended up doing. <laughs> it ended up being a front wheel drive car. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to make it a front engine rear wheel drive car because again, I am expecting to use a super body. I got, hopefully y'all can see that, the BT-01 sealed ball bearings by Fast Eddie. So I do have some drift tires from one of my old, very, very old uh, RCs that I, I don't even know what happened to that chassis anymore. I just know that I ended up saving the wheels. Uh, and if you really take a look at them, they kind of, I mean, these are the Tamiya wheels and these are the old, my old, um, Drift wheels, you guys can see. Look how look how cruddy that paint job looks on them. So these things are old, man. These wheels are old, but they still work. So I do have two more of them over here somewhere. So what I'm going to wind up doing one day is just throw these things on and just have a blast. Just <laughs> just go and have a blast with it. Alright you guys, so that's basically all I got for the BT-01 chassis. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little skit that I did in the beginning of the video. I thought that was going to be kind of cool how I 
did that with getting the <laughs> the car. So uh, the other thing that I didn't mention earlier, and I'm mentioning it now again. So I'm at the point now in YouTube where I'm able to open up a shopping a store front for the channel, uh, where you're going to be able to order some merch. Um, I do have some stickers on there now, but I am in the works of getting like shirts made and hats made and I think I'm probably going to end up getting some hoodies done too. But um, let me know down in the comment section what you guys would like to get. Um, the hat, I can get the hat done. Um, let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, go into my bio. Go into, uh, go into my bio here in the channel and you know my email address is on there hit me up on email we're on Facebook um, we're on Instagram we're on TikTok. just hit me up in there message me don't leave it in the comment section let me know if you guys are interested in the hats um, because right now they are not on the store but I am working on getting the <laughs> I am working on getting hats and stuff onto the storefront so let me know what you guys want so I can get them made so the more I should probably end up getting a couple hats, a couple shirts made. And if I do, I'm more than likely probably going to get like, I don't know, 20 hats and 20 shirts. Once those are sold out, those are going to be sold out until I'm able to get more. So let me know down in the comment section below. Message me, email me. Let me know if you guys are interested. Any hats, any shirts and I will do my best to get that done. So without further ado, thank you for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe. I will see you guys in another video. You all keep our seeing. Have a good one, guys.